part two and my tiered tray DIYs. Let's do this. So for the first one, I got me one of those little risers from Hobby Lobby and I thought, why would you want to put something on this? So I'm going to use the cute little pumpkin in a different way. First, I'm going to put Mod Podge over this because if you Mod Podge it, instead of me having to sand it to get the shininess down to paint it, you just put Mod Podge over it and your paint sticks really, really well. Let this dry without the source of heat, but wherever you're going to paint it, put your Mod Podge. I'm not worried about what I'm holding on to because I'm going to cover that up anyways, so I'm not worrying about it. Once this dries, uh, sorry, I had to swallow. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give it a coat of orange chalk paint. This is uh, from Walmart. Um, it's the Waverly brand. Nothing fancy. Just a coat of paint and let that dry. Okay, I'm going to take back what I just said about letting it dry. I did not let it dry. And I just take, uh, what is that stuff? Waverly Antique Wax. And I'm going to put my lines in my pumpkin where those lines are. And uh, I think I just created my own too right here. But, you know, I'm just trying to make it have depth and dimension because that's just what I do. Then I'm going to take this... Um, wax and while I have it on my brush I didn't get out brown paint I just put a faint little color on the stem there and uh, blend that in just to make my stem different from the pumpkin so it's not all orange and this is the cutest little thing I love it but I got too much paint I got a little brown happy or wax happy whatever you want to call it so I'm going to take some orange and blend it in look at that just perfect I mean you can't go wrong when you're blending paint. If you mess it up, blend the other paint in. Just just keep going till you got it and you're good, okay? You're good. I guess I have finally got it the way I wanted it and here it is. That's that. Let it dry. Now, I've got these and I found them on clearance last year at Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to leave two of them with the pumpkins. And then these two, I just removed the pumpkins. I don't know why, but these two came out easy. Then I have these little scarecrows that I got from Hobby Lobby as well. And I am going to put those on the top of here. But I didn't trust it to just stick on there. So I tried this super glue gel that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I put it on there. And, you know, if you use a lot, it won't work. It won't set. So I just put a little bit on and I tried to stick it to that wood and that was not working. Then I'll just tell you, I tried to use hot glue to get it down. That wasn't working either. So I got some really bendable wire. Um, I already done one to make sure it would work. So I got some really bendable wire. And I am going to run this wire. It's kind of thick, but I'm going to run it through the, these are buttons. So I run it through the buttonhole of the little um, scarecrow. And then I'm going to twist it around carefully because you will break off your buttonhole piece. And then I'm going to cut it down and keep working with it till it fits down in the hole on the top of this spoon. Um, I had to waller out the glue of the holes because there was glue from where the pumpkins were glued in. So I get all that out and then keep going until I can poke it down where the button is flush with the wood. That way it gives it something to stick on. Okay. Then I'm going to take fabric tack and I'm going to put fabric tack while well, I use hot glue down in the hole. But to use the, pla I mean, to glue the plastic, I'm going to use fabric tack. Then I'm going to take one of those pink clips from the Dollar Tree and clip it until it dries. Then once it's dry, I still don't feel too spiffy about it. So I'm going to take hot glue and go around the back of the button, securing the, you know, making sure that I get glue on the button and the wood to secure it down. 
then I am done. I wanted a way to display these that was um, cute, not just stick them in a jar or a bottle. So I've had these window clings since last year and I just put a window cling on it because of course it sticks to glass and there you go. Now for this one, I got one of these cute little rolling pins and I am going to paint my handles orange. Um, I'm going to try to be careful not to touch the rolling pin. So I'm using a real thin uh, brush to do this. And once I got my handles painted, I gave it a coat of ivory in the middle. You do not have to do this if you don't want to. And then it was kind of rough, so I gave it a light sanding with fine grit sanding block almost said sandpaper that is not paper clearly that is a block <laughs> but anyway you know what I mean um so then when I get it sanded and make sure that I wipe all that dust off okay um I am going to be using those transfers over there from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be putting those beautiful beautiful pumpkins on this rolling pin and I think I'm talking faster than I'm working but you're, you're, you're seeing it. You're seeing it. That one was too big. Didn't like it. So I'm just going to cut these out and I'm going to randomly place them on this rolling pin and start smearing away. I really wanted that on there apparently, but, uh, I, I decided not. I'll use this one. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Um, anyways, here I go. And I have never added these to such a curved surface before. So I'm going to tape it down and then I'm just going to rub. But the rest I'm not going to tape down because I don't want the tape to stick to the other um, rub-on transfers and pull them up. I have learned that if you use a painter stick and uh, cut that down and sand your edges, you can use it, especially for big ones, and you can use the corner for smaller ones. And here we go. I did it. And some of them had wrinkles, so I just took my finger and lightly... Uh, smooth those wrinkles out and that is the cutest little stinking thing now you can wrap jute on and tie bows on but I did not really prefer that I just want the rolling pin I just like it like it is you can add bows if you want to it's yours but as for me that's mine now for this one I love this paper that I got at Hobby Lobby and this truck came from Hobby Lobby last year but I didn't know what to do with this paper. So I found out that it is very tedious to cut these pumpkins out. But I did it um, with a little pair of scissors. And I just thought they were so, so pretty. And it went with my decor more than this truck was just blah. So I uh, cut the pumpkins out. I put my patient pants on and cut them out. And then I'm just going to take that purple glue stick and I'm going to glue them down and arrange them where it covers up all of the uh, pumpkin junk on the truck. Um, like I said, this is just cuter and more my, my theme or my style or my liking. So you could put whatever you want on this. Just uh, flowers in there, you know, would be cute. Um, but this is just what I liked. And you might have to arrange and overlap uh, your images, but that's okay because when they're stacked in a truck, they're every which way anyway. I'm going to cut out the middle of those three at the top laying there, and I'm going to glue it on the door, which you'll see right here. And now it's done. And I think it's so stinking cute. Now for this one, I had a house from Dollar Tree, I have rub-on transfers from Dollar Tree, and I have a car or a little truck down there that I got from a box set at Hobby Lobby. And when I got this little house unwrapped, y'all, that thing was rough. So I just give it a quick sanding to knock the splinters down and, you know, make it look a little better so once i get that done i'm disassembling the thing it has a piece of glass in it uh which i was surprised i thought it was plastic so i'm just going to leave that in there um i want to put a transfer on this and i didn't want to use the paper 
because you could see the image on the back of the paper. So I'm just going to take chalk paint and I'm going to paint this. Um, I will tell you that it got a little rough. So I put a coat on there, then I sanded it down and then added another coat, sanded it down and it took three coats of paint to fully cover this. After my paint was fully dry and sanded smooth, I apply this Hello Autumn Rub-On Transfer. I use these a lot because I love them. The font is awesome. So once I get it transferred, I just pop it back into that little house and it's cute. And I want to add this truck because I had them, didn't know what to do with them. And I thought this was cute as well. Um, Cause who don't love trucks, right? So once I get this on, then I thought, Gosh, the top of the house was so bare. So I was going to use that one, but it's so big. And I thought this might not work. So I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to place it on there to see if it will work because I, I liked it. So it may cut some off, but I'm going to go ahead and use it. Like I've said before with these rub-on transfers, if you start to pull them up and you see that your transfer didn't stick, just stick it back down. Rub it again and try again. They'll come off beautifully. I was going to put leaves down it, but I thought, eh, just too much. Just too much going on. So I left it the way it was, and that's it. I have one of these little canvas frames, and I love them because they're so little. I get them at Walmart. And I got this scrapbook paper out of a pack, but you can buy scrapbook paper at any craft store, Walmart, but Hobby Lobby has it on sale every other week, I think it is. But anyways, I'm just going to lay this down. And then I'm going to um, use the pokey tool and draw around it. And then I'm going to shut you off because to cut this out, I couldn't see. So I had to bring it up to my face like a blind person. So <laughs> I'm just going to cut it out. That's all you do. Once I get it cut out, I just take my glue stick. And I'm going to put heavy glue on this canvas. And then when I put the paper on, if it sticks out a little bit, you know, it's okay. I'd rather have it too big than too small. You want that only except uh, when you're buying underwear. Okay, just saying. But anyways, I put it on and then I push it down, um, upside down in the middle because when you go to put it on, it kind of gives in the middle. So I flip it over to make sure it doesn't. And I'm going to do the same thing when I glue this little truck on, but I just want this super simple. I just love the look of the truck and with the scrapbook paper it is so stinking darling so there it is and here is my full tiered tray and I absolutely love it I love making mini decor and see there's the little cutting board and you can see it it's not it's not that bad and I had to put my little leaf back there but I I moved it to somewhere else and rearranged um, when I got this where I wanted it but I just love all these and I am so thankful for my daughter Jennifer for giving me that top with them pumpkins on it I was amazed when I done it I absolutely love it if y'all like these DIYs and you like my content please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video I want you to know that I appreciate each and every one of you, and you are a blessing. Until next time, goodbye.